Okay. What is up, you guys? Um. So I was gonna kind of get into my life a little too tonight, which will be tomorrow in the day. But I decided, um, I'm not quite ready for that yet. But um. I wanted to go through some of the things I thrifted recently with my best friend who's getting ready to move to Texas. That's the last friend I have in the state, so he's got a really good opportunity. I'm really happy for him and selfishly sad for myself. But anyway, um, let me try to adjust this lighting so you guys can see the objects. Point it upwards. Okay. My favorite style is this, like, bamboo planters. And this one has the little fish on them, and the lady does a 75% off sale in her booth, like, all the time, and, like, a fly drawn to lights, I'm like, ooh, sale items. So I got a really good deal on this, and I may hold on to it for a while before I try to resell it, but, um, that is my main source of income, reselling. Um, I got into an accident, so I'm not able to physically work a shift in a real job. So I'm looking for online work-from-home employment because, thankfully, there's a lot of that going on, sadly, right now with the coronavirus. But I haven't had luck with that much either. Um, another cute piece I picked up was this shiny pottery-looking lady. Well, I've seen it marked Shawnee, but I'm not quite sure that's what she is. I have a Shawnee book. I just need to look inside of it. But, um, she's really beautiful colors, and the lighting is terrible. Um, she's a little planter. She doesn't have any chips or scratches, and she's got a little missing paint on her foot. But, um, other than that, she's pretty awesome. And then I picked this up. It is a donkey. And he is very colorful. He's got colors like a unicorn. And I wish I had better lighting. I should have done this during the day. But I'm kind of confused as to what he is. Like his bottom's open. And then he's got this little hole in the top. And so maybe a nightlight? Um, he's very pretty. He's purples and pinks and greens. And lamp parts are so expensive, so maybe I can find a child's nightlight at a Goodwill and hook them up and see if that's how it works. Maybe almost like a TV uh, lamp, but not quite really, if that makes any sense. Then I got this pair of little Japanese dogs. Um, I have to move the opposite way, I think, every time, so... <laughs> Anyway, I felt them up real good when I was at the store, and I didn't realize because I guess the chip is so smooth on his little ear that he has a smooth, smooth chip, and they were, they had been in the booth forever, so they were, um, really dirty. When I got home and cleaned them, I realized it was there, but they're marked Japan. Oh my god, I can't do cameras. I'll figure this out one day, you guys. Okay, Japan, and then, oh, I got this really awesome poodle, it's pink, and it's got, it's kind of spaghetti, but not spaghetti like you would think, it's got that um, rough pattern with the gold gilding on them, and it's a graduate pink poodle, and there is a tea tiny chip on the corner of his hat which was covered with a price tag, which is kind of frustrating, but, um, I didn't notice at the time he has a loop, so it's supposed to have some babies. I might hold on to him until I find the babies, or if somebody really wants him, let him go. Um, okay. And then I picked up this elephant ashtray, and he's redware, and he's really awesome, and he's got big eyes. And I have some red wear donkeys I need to show you guys um, soon. He's got a marking on the bottom. But it's like almost, oh, okay. It's like an N and a C, C-N. I'm going to have to look into that. So, um, he's really cute. He was 
$8, and I think maybe like 20% off, not too sure, maybe it was a full $8, but I love elephants, and I keep picking them up, and they don't sell, <laughs> so maybe I should quit, but, um, and then I went by a Goodwill, and I only picked up a couple of things, they had, this is marked KM, and then it has two swords, with a number either 890 or 830 on top of it. Then there's a circle in the sword. Well, KM is somebody's initials. But, I don't think that's going to focus. Anyway, I'm going to have to take close-up photos of the markings on this little guy. He's a little puss in boot, and he's a little Christmas kitty. And he's pretty awesome as well. Um... Let me move back into the camera. Maybe if I move my camera over. Uh, that might work a little better. Okay. Um, and then, this is super old. I can tell it's super old. It was only 49 cents. It's marked Japan, so maybe it's not super old. But, um, no chips or cracks or anything. And it's this little lady in a hat with some birds and the top of the chimney's open and the only thing I could think is maybe like a matchstick holder but I'm not too sure maybe just a little bud vase for a teeny tiny flower and she's pretty cute as well and at another shop I picked up for 95 cents this beautiful ballerina and she's got some poop up in between her feet so I need to clean that out but she's got um like gold gilded feet and she's in a beautiful pose a little gold crown or tiara whatever you want to call it but yeah there's that gal and my camera battery's already dying again um so this might end up being short I wanted to do an unboxing of some things that I got and this is from Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living. And I bought this because I get such awesome package toppers from other resellers. And I figured I could use this tin. Oh, it's pretty paper. To keep my package toppers in as little, like, um, I don't ever get cards. So maybe, like, keep them as little keepsakes. And she used some beautiful wrapping paper. Oh, and she packed it really well. Wow. I have to keep that in the box to cover up my little package toppers with. And it's a gold tin. Here it is. She bubble wrapped that. Bubble wrapped that. Paper wrapped it. Put it in a box. Wrapped it in some beautiful beautiful paper and um the tin is marked guildcraft new york and it's got all this pretty um like pressed tin work around it like uh tin photo type of stuff but i don't know how to explain it and then it's grapes in the middle but it also has little flowers and leaves and it's a very botanical looking piece. Oh, and it says Guildcraft New York on the inside. And the top's like super thick. I've never had an old tin like this. It smells good. Your house is so good, Michelle. I hope you be living in a tin. Um, this may be her way of labeling the boxes. Or maybe there's a card attached. Cozy Living is so sweet and loves us all. Um, just like Jeffrey and Misty and Chapter 2 Vintage Co. Alex. And let's see what it says. Poor thing. She has so much to ship. I can't imagine she wrote a lot. Um, oh my god. She found a Louisiana card to go with it. Because I'm from Louisiana. And it says thanks Lucid, Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living, and 
it's got our state bird and everything and our statehood date and our motto is union, justice, and confidence. I don't believe justice exists, but um, clarity exists. Um, truth exists, but there's some things that you can never get justice for. But I really love it, Michelle. Thank you so much. Um, so sweet. I'm going to keep it forever. A lot of things I, I buy, I plan on reselling later, but um, that's definitely a keeper. And then Miss Pamela, that Pamela Blanchard is her channel. She wraps this so professionally. It's got package paper around the box, and she uses professional sticky labels. I haven't graduated to that level yet, but sticky labels that is. And I'm using an X-Acto knife. So that's how I'm getting in there so good. It says to refrigerate. I love people who use random boxes. Um, and I always feel guilty if I do that, so I never do, like a weirdo. But what I bought from her was for a good cause, and I love, like, I don't want to say religion. I love spirituality. I do like all religions, like, there's stuff I pull from, but Catholicism to me is the most beautiful as far, far as decor goes. I swear I have a speech impediment, so I'll be constantly correcting the way I sound. Um, oh wow, these are really super, super, super nice. It's a little baby cherub candlestick holder, and it's got like grapes and stuff embossed in the top, and beautiful wings, and little angel booty. Uh, 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 uh. No, I'm kidding. That's kind of, I guess, heck religious. I shouldn't do that. And she left a card as well. I got two like that. Um, my battery's about to die, so I'm trying to hurry and not make the video too long. I don't know if they're identical, but I think they will be. I think they can face each other, yes. They're so sweet. They're darling little angels. This one's got like a um, scarf around his booty. But they're so, so darling. And like thick ceramic porcelain. I don't know how they do that. It's not, it's not like any ceramic I've ever seen. And she used plenty of wrapping paper, plenty of like dish protect, protecting. And she left a card as well to put in Michelle's tin. Y'all. Y'all know how special that is for even just like, oh my god, handwritten. Please come back and hang out with us anytime. I hope you have a wonderful week. Oh, well, Pamela, that's so sweet. She wrote a long, like, she, she wrote out stuff. And I love you, Miss Pamela. Like, you remind me so much of. My grandmother, who passed away, unfortunately, before I died, um, just your sweetness and the way you act and everything I've ever heard about her and how she talks and everything, you remind me of her, so, um, she passed away at 54 of lupus, so when you said the hydroxychloroquine drug, that's when I was like, oh, well, good, you won't get coronavirus, that's how I knew about that drug. They didn't have that for my grandma back then, unfortunately. But, um, this is another example of why I think Catholicism is beautiful. I don't know if it's the Virgin Mary or a saint, but it's super old, super faded. You can barely make it out. Somebody put it in a handmade shell trimmed, um, frame. And they, it's a plastic cover, but it kind of bubbles out, giving it that old, like, effect. And I'm probably going to hold on to this for a while as well, just because I love it so much. And um, I honestly would like to see what the back says and who this person really is. So if you know, leave a comment down below. Um, I just wanted to show this guy that Misty had sent to me. Oh, i got to put my pinky to make it fit. But he's Creepy Santa. And I love Creepy Santa, and I'm probably going to keep this one forever as well. 
and <laughs> I'm a weirdo if you guys don't know already. Thrift U sent me this lovely compote with the little finial that matches a pair of lamps that I have, oddly enough. And it's very pretty and will go great on my large attorney desk. Um, and then I want to go over the stuff I got from Maria, California Thrifter. Y'all please subscribe to her. She's great to talk to. She's like a therapy session. She comes on... I want to say like 10 o'clock central time, but I made a video about her so you could see what time she really shows up. But I got this beautiful Dresden lace couple, um, and they're like renaissance style, and she only, like, her prices are so fair, you guys. Five dollars. Five dollars, I think it was. Maybe six. Um, and I'm hurrying along. This beautiful left and gal. There's nothing wrong with her at all. Her name is Linda and it's embossed, designed by Marika Lefton. So, like, you know, it's actually Lefton, I guess, because it's embossed. Maybe that's not a good rationalization, but I think it's good enough. She's got an iris, a purple iris on her hat. And I have a purple iris tattoo that supposedly represents hope. And I had a dog named Hope that passed away. Um, Chapter 2 Vintage Co. I got this lovely creamer. Also, probably one I would like to keep in my house. Um, it's like a blue luster with uh, forget-me-nots. Another tattoo I got. I got three. One for my dog Heidi. One for my cat Sassy. And I'm blanking on the other pet. And I'm sorry because my brain is, like, not functionable. This is the bell that she had packed so well that I just thought, oh, she forgot it, no big deal, you know, she sent me all this great stuff for such a fair price, <laughs> and I was going to use her bubble wrap to package other material, other stuff that I had sold, and I found it, and I was like, three days later, and so that's a big running joke with us about how well she packs things. Um, Chapter 2 Vintage Co. also sent me these snakes. I may sell them one day. I doubt it because I like weird stuff. And I do kind of want to polish them up. I'm currently using them for my fall decor. But they have red eyes. I'm just going to show one. Um, it's a snake. And they've got little red beady eyes. And they sit like this. And they're pretty freaking awesome. Chapter 2 Vintage Co. and I, I think, have the most similar taste and stuff. Like, I like old gothic -y looking things. Gothic-y Hollywood Regency type stuff. And I think from what I've heard from her, that's how she used to do her old house at least. And so that's why I love so much of the stuff she picks out for her resale items. Um, she also sold me the most interesting pair of shakers I have ever seen. They are signed Ross, and I know it's not Ross Dress for Less. There's crazing on them. They're really cool. They're definitely, like, artismal pieces, if that's the right word I'm using. And you shake them like this, and it comes out a snout, and then you shake it like this, and it comes out its tail. And they have flat bottoms, so they look like a manatee surfacing out of the water. I love it. And I've gotten some things from Jeffrey at Real Nifty Vintage. He sold me these camel salt and pepper shakers just because it's about the only things I can afford in itself. And like, go get it, boy. Get that money. You know, that's how you're earning your living. Um, and I also got this pair of salt and pepper shakers from them, um, which I fortunately had corks for because I keep them handy. And they're lusterware floral. They're a matching pair. And they've got the gold luster top and the pretty flower. And they're this purple blue opalescent opalescent -y looking stuff on them. And they're marked Japan. And he always sends fun package toppers as well. And lastly, I picked this up for like a dollar. It's got a brass top. It's an apple and it's like a blue, I don't want to say agate. Maybe it's it's some kind of stone for real. But it has scuffing on it that makes me think maybe it's dyed. 
but it's got swirls like an agate, but not like an agate slice, if that makes sense. And Maria also sent me these two little angel shelf sitters. I like super, super old angels. This isn't really like the style I collect, but I thought they were so sweet. I got them anyway. And I forgot the point of this video that I was making. Um, I guess just to give you guys a little insight onto my current situation in life. Um, I like to get into like spirituality and life not on like the 3D plane and not spirituality as in like chakras and I like to promote be your own shaman. I like people to feel better about themselves. I like to lift people up. Um, and so yeah, I talk, I guess I'm very long winded too. Um, so I look forward to talking to you guys some more about that. I have a butt ton of items in my house to sell. Like I, I don't like listing items. I hate it. If I could be a sourcer for people, that would be like the number one job that I want number two but I mean number one and um so hopefully one day like if I can make a living doing that I would um but yeah so that's me and a little bit of my story and a little bit of my current um inventory that I got recently current meaning by what I have received recently and uh I hope you guys like it. I would like to get into live sales because this is my main source of income. Because I cannot get a job where I can like walk, sit, and stand for so long and then I have to lay down. Which is not a sob story. I mean, everybody's got their issues in life and nobody's issues are any worse than anybody else's. But that is kind of where I'm trying to head. And maybe not even, so we'll see how it goes. And if you liked my video, I'm really happy. Um, next week, I want to highlight another small seller. I know everybody knows, like, Jeffrey, Misty, um, Chapter 2 Vintage Co. So I want to get the people who are, like, really low in their V counts and subscribers and try to help get their voices out there, even though they're probably more well-known than I am. Um... The one I'm highlighting next week, I mean, he sent me a message after some, like, random post I put on Instagram asking if I was okay. And it's like, you don't understand how much that touches someone's heart to know that somebody out there actually cares. And, like, that's all I get out of this community. Well, my battery died, but what I was saying is that's all I get from this um, community is pretty much, like, encouragement. Um, positivity and just a lot of love so here's a final look of everything I showed you in the video tonight on one shelf and thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it I know it was a long ramble ho ho ho